Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another day of flying in the multi. Today we're going to be going over the multi-engine maneuver VMC demo. To best handle this maneuver, I like to use the acronym CPR, HAA. C is going to be our clearing turns, looking for that visual outside reference point and putting ourselves on that horizon where we can go into P, pre-maneuver checklist. The best way to go about this I've found is the reverse 7. So starting with your hand, you're going to put it on the field selector and we'll talk out loud on how this kind of helps with the VMC demo. So hand is on that field selector, we're going to make sure it is in the on position. Then we're going up to the trim, it's set for the maneuver. Flaps are up, cow flaps closed on the inoperative engine and open on the operative. Now the primers are going to be in the lock position, carburetor heat is going to be off for now, mixture enrich in props and throttle we're going to also leave for now, jump on over to the fuel pumps on, landing lights on, and back to where it all began, seat belts. Looking at our outside visual reference point we can kind of set up our parameters for the maneuver. Our parameters are going to be mostly going to be about the actual heading and airspeed. It's not going to really be about the altitude, while you're going to try and maintain it as best you can, the goal is to show you have rudder control. So, with that being said, you have a margin of error of plus minus 20 degrees from your heading. So using the outside visual reference point is going to be the key. Now for the airspeed. That's going to be plus minus 5 and we're going to be staying within those margins throughout the entire maneuver for the airspeeds required for this maneuver. So we'll, we'll go into that in a little bit. Then last on our list is bank no more than 5 degrees. Now we can begin our maneuver. I'm starting to put on that carb heat. Throttle is coming back to 15 manifold pressure, right? We have stated our altitude, HAA, heading, altitude, airspeed, and as we bring those throttles back, we can begin our props full forward. We're maintaining our altitude as we start to slow down our airspeed. So bringing those throttles back not only slows us down, but we lock in that RPM and bring the props forward, changing the actual angle, allowing us to slow down to our 90. Once at 90, we're going to retard that left throttle to idle, and that right one is going full forward. We're also turning off the carb heat to give us our best performance as we're operating now on one engine. With all the drag on the other engine, we're going to have to use our controls to deflect to the right, allowing us to maintain that smooth, positive controls so we can maintain that directional control. With the mountain in the distance being our reference point, we're going to be using that throughout the entirety of the maneuver. So bring back that power, full power on the right, carburetor heats off, giving us our best performance. We are now operating on one engine. So as we start to pitch up one knot per second, the airflow over our wings starts to become less and less, our controls become less effective. So we have to use more and more input as shown in my ailerons here, and it gets to a point where we reach a deflection. We can't control the aircraft. Once that happens, we are bringing the throttle back and re-establishing that airflow over the wings. So pulling it back, pitching down, gaining airspeed over the wings allows us to have our ailerons and rudder become effective once again. Now, as we start to re-establish that power just before our 88, so five knots before, you're going to start pitching up and adding throttle to maintain that 88 throughout the entirety of the recovery. Now, with our sight picture, we're going to be using our rudder and ailerons once again as we re-establish that throttle. So, now that we've got that sight picture maintaining that 88, not crossing over our minimums from the ACS, we are now able to recover. In the left engine, we're going to re-establish our throttle, 15 manifold pressure, leaving our carb heat on until the engine gets warm. As it starts to heat up, we can turn off our fuel pumps and our landing light and get ourselves ready for the cruise checklist. Once the engine is warm, we can advance that left throttle to full, turning off that carb heat, making sure you didn't forget anything, and cruise checklist. We're getting that throttle back to 2-0 on the manifold pressure gauge, and once we go over to the props, bringing that back to 2-3 on our RPM. Moving over to our mixture, making sure that's set to a lean setting, and officially, you've completed the maneuver. Hope this helps, guys, and hey, if you want to see me do any more videos, please feel free to mention in the comments what you'd like to see next, and of course, we're going to make the best quality for you guys. Hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe to see future videos, and if you found this video helpful, leave it a like. Love to see you guys back here, and as always, stay up there.